So, how do you fill out a sports cast when there are no sports? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Guys like me have this job because we love sports, but just weren't good enough to go pro. In my case, I was talented enough. My coaches and teammates really held me back. Either way, <laughs> with nothing else going on, it's a chance for me to showcase my athletic ability like I normally do with the pros. Let's go to the highlights. This video from a couple summers ago, it's me versus a four-year-old. Look at the defense. Great block by me there, then turning some Defense into offense, electric move. Good luck stopping that. Blowing by the defender, take another look. And then finishing with authority at the rim. I went on to win this game 11 to eight. Your final, Barb, I know you're impressed by, by you, that right there. The Patriots getting ready for their toughest test of the season yet, welcoming in the undefeated Chiefs. Of course, the story for Kansas City so far this year, second year quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He's thrown for 14 touchdowns, just two interceptions so far, and certainly caught the eye of the Patriots. We're still starved for live sports, so I figure, you know what? I really enjoy eating. I'm good at it. It's one of my passions. Let's give it a shot. We're going to do one minute here. Chestnut ate 15 hot dogs in the first minute. Clearly, I've been working hard. I cooked the, up the dogs just before the show. I've got the water ready to go. We might do some dipping. Let's find out. Anthony's going to keep score, and let's start the timer whenever you guys are ready. And three. <laughs> Two, one. This was a terrible, terrible zoom. Story this week at Gillette Stadium, the Patriots acquiring Josh Gordon from the Browns. Now the troubled wide receiver is arguably one of the most explosive players in the NFL. All right, the Red Sox given lemons this week with the cheating scandal that led to Alex Cora parting ways with the team as manager. But this was also an opportunity for the Red Sox to make lemonade. You see, the Red Sox own the region when it came to the sports landscape right up through about 2007 or 2008. That's when Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the Patriots really took things over. Since then, it's been all Patriots all the time. But this week, the Red Sox have taken over the sports discussion in a way that we haven't seen since, well, really, 08. And they've won two World Series championships in that time. And while the discussion may not be positive, with the press conference set for today, what if the Red Sox came to the podium and kept that momentum of the discussion going and actually turned it into a positive, built on that momentum, owned up to their mistakes, said, hey, we screwed up, we own that, and our fans deserve better. We are going to put the best product on the field for this year that we possibly can, and we are going to win a lot of games for our fans. Circle the wagons, engage the fan base, us against the world, a page out of the Patriots playbook. Instead, we got a lot of this. It's clear um, that we're going to honor um, the commissioner's directive to not speak about the investigation. Yeah, it was a wasted opportunity today for the Red Sox. And with the future of Tom Brady and Bill Belichick in as much question as it's ever been, they should have been trying to capitalize on the situation. Unfortunately, today, the Red Sox certainly not stealing any signs because it was another swing and miss by the organization.